Hello YouTube, hello, hello, hello. So I did not completely forget about the Poison Ivy stuff. I'm a little inconsistent on that, but I wanna maintain uh, the comic book YouTube stuff as a hobby. As long as I'm feeling uh, inspired, uh, I wanna do it. Um, I was going through like a shift change to where my schedule changed from like day to night. So I was feeling like a zombie for a while and then I had like pneumonia. So I wasn't really feeling good for like a month and then I wasn't able to get in the gym. So I got the, I had the blues. So I, I really wasn't really feeling it. Um, I wasn't going to that, to my LCS to pick up my Poison Ivy copies, but I was reading it digitally. And even today I, I got it digitally. I didn't, I still have not picked up my copies from uh, the LCS, which I'll probably be doing in a week or so. I don't know. Anyways, um, I'm back. I want to do the Poison Ivy stuff. And I just want to say that uh, this has been my favorite issue since uh, they extended the series after six. Um, I just really love this issue and we're going to be getting into that. So just a quick recap on the one stuff before uh, Poison Ivy was just fighting the power with uh, like a fracking company and some weird lady. Um, I, I did enjoy it. And to be honest, uh, that's if you like that kind of stuff, it's been done before. Uh, if you read uh, Swamp Thing by Nancy Collins, uh, there's a big element of like environmental activism and stuff like that in there. And even like going back as far, uh, going back to like the Poison Ivy Batman one shot from the late 90s, where she's like protecting an island from like corporate companies and stuff. That's also a pretty good story if you kind of like that. I myself, it, there's a little, I, I myself enjoy those stories because inside of me, there's a little activists for the environment i'm pretty fond of it um i love the mountains i love the ocean uh, i love the swamp you know and i just love i i just feel a calling to for nature and i appreciate it um i wouldn't say i'm like super dedicated like a like an activist like i was reading about this story about this lady named like butterfly hill or something like that like in the late 90s where she, she lived in a freaking tree for like almost a year protecting that tree and uh she was successful man she was successful uh so pretty interesting story and uh that's somebody right there who is dedicated dedicated so that's always awesome to see somebody who is uh dedicated to what they believe in anyways so now let's get on to uh th this week's issue uh poison ivy i believe we're on nine all right so yes we are on number nine Again, I didn't pick up my copies, but um, I, I really don't have a preference this week. Um, I do want to say shout out to Masio Takada because I feel like his line work is getting better uh, since we started in the beginning. It's a lot more fine. I think uh, his shapes, his anatomy, his uh, the way he puts like things in the panels and stuff, like things pop a little bit more. I think like shapes pop more. Um, I love that opening scene with Poison Ivy just drinking her coffee, you know, in the in the morning. That's awesome. Uh, I also love the panel when uh, Harley Quinn first shows up. So, yeah, Harley Quinn uh, is one of my favorite characters, and I really enjoyed this because of how G. Will Wilson used Poison Ivy. Uh, to show that Harley Quinn is deeper than just like this crazy character. Um, and it really makes sense the way she puts Harley Quinn in a light. She says that Harley Quinn is uh, intelligent and she's actually pretty deep, a uh, pretty deep person. Because I think with Harley Quinn, I think one of the things that they pretty much established with her is that she's a lover. But I think it was a trait that because she was a psychologist before she became the Harley Quinn. And I think when the Joker saw this uh, her willingness to love is I think something that he took advantage of um, and really damaged her through that uh, but you can kind of see here that with her with poison ivy uh, she sees the world uh, she's kind of fearless in it she's she she faces everything with excitement and uh, she wants to joke around make others happy and stuff like that so she, we can see that poison ivy admires this from Harley Quinn and it's something that you feel that only Poison Ivy can see. Like she sees Harley Quinn for something deeper than that. Uh, she's, and, and it makes sense because usually 
you know, when someone is like deep and doesn't really have a care for what others think and stuff like that, somebody who's deeply layered um, usually gets labeled as like crazy or weird or odd uh, because most time people want to put labels on people because it makes them feel better. Like if you can label somebody or put them in a category or uh, slap a reputation to them, uh, it makes people feel better. Like, okay, I can uh, understand this person or I, I get this person or I got this person figured out. Therefore, you know, you know, it makes them feel more comfortable. But if someone's like, you know, very unpredictable up and down or whatever, and you can see like stuff, normal stuff that would bother normal people, it doesn't bother this person then it's like, oh, this person has to be crazy, right? Uh, and I think that this is uh, something that Harley Quinn tries to establish into Poison Ivy because she tells her Poison Ivy, like, you got to stop caring about what other people think about you because, you know, that, that, that becomes kind of like a trap. Um, and I think that this is where it works. I think this is where the relationship with Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, it actually works because, uh, one, Poison Ivy sees Harley Quinn in a grounded way and then Harley Quinn pushes Poison Ivy to get out of that like self-loathing, self-criticizing kind of a manner uh, and, and to be a little bit more fearless and, and, and not to be afraid to uh, uh, do what she wants to do and become who she wants to be. Ivy gives Harley Quinn a little bit of the spores as kind of an experience. Um, so this is nothing, this isn't like exactly a new concept. Um, if you guys are familiar with Alan Moore's Swamp Thing, uh, Swamp Thing's main squeeze, uh, Abby, uh, this is the way they uh, had intercourse, right? Because she, he was a salad, pretty much. He's a vegetable and she was an organic woman. But what he was able to do is he was able to concoct like spores or something to give her like a great uh, psychedelic, like ecstasy experience uh, through like, plant chemicals and stuff like that. So this is a, a little bit of what we got here from Harley Quinn. And when you see that Harley Quinn's fearless, one, well, because she is a little nuts, all right? She is a little nuts. Version. Again, I like G Willow's version of Harley Quinn. She's not super over the top. She's not over zany, but she is a little goofy. And, uh, and it, I think that's charming. So very awesome. I really enjoyed it. I think if I was to give a complaint about any about this is that it felt way too short. Like. Harley Quinn was out as fast as she came in. Um, and uh, and I think that's something good when you get that out of your issues. Like when they let you, and I think that's really good when you get that feeling out of an issue because it really leaves you feeling like wanting more. Like I want more of this. Uh, and it feels like Poison Ivy's maybe on her way back to Gotham. So we're gonna be able to see what G Willow Wilson has created with Poison Ivy and then we're going to be placing her back into the old setting of Gotham City. So that's going to be kind of exciting to see what kind of interactions we get there and hopefully we get more of this uh, with Harley Quinn. So yeah, that's it for my video. You guys let me know what you guys think. Um, oh, and by the way, I feel like I may have found my cover. I feel like I may have found my cover. And I think it's going to be the uh, Joshua Middleton one. Like when I saw this cover, I'm like, yep, yep, yep. And then I feel like it, that one's going to be hard to top. I think right now for up to now, I think it's still been consistently the Dan Mora one. But, uh, I, and, but and I really wasn't feeling the first couple Poison Ivies that Middleton did. But when I saw this one, I was like, yep, that's, that's the Middleton one right there. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, man, I uh, can't wait to, uh, hopefully, you know, I'm consistent enough to come back for another one. So, uh, but if I don't, I'll come back eventually. All right, see you guys.